Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. How you doing this evening? Welcome to another edition of WWE 2K22 Universe. This is episode 74 of Universe, and it is the debut show of ECW. I've had a lot of changes going on in the Universe here since I last joined you. We're going to go over everything in just a minute. You can see all the additions. There were uh, some empty spots before, and now there are none. We have, uh, first of all, WCW facing a little bit of a financial crunch. They sold Thursday Thunder to New Japan Wrestling. So Thursday nights are now New Japan Wrestling. And let me tell you what, that was a bitch to create. Hey there, Godspeed. Thanks for joining, man. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, that was a that was a major bitch. We, we have ECW today. Two title matches for that. I'll go over all that in a second for you. We have uh, New Japan on Thursdays now. WOW on Fridays. Uh, I'll go over all of those changes with you in just a second. And uh, I think it's going to make things more entertaining. And it also has the rosters have been cut way down. So we're going to have a lot more rotation. And we're going to see... Um, a lot of other people. So, it'll be pretty cool. It's going to work out for the best, I believe. All right. First of all, let me uh, thank you for joining today. A little uh, confusion over the weekend. Not too bad, Godspeed. Not too bad. Thank you for asking. Uh, I decided not to go to the uh, benefit show today. There was... Uh, no, no, that's what I was just going to say, Godspeed. No, I did not. Um, I, I, I'm not going to get into a lot of the specifics. I'm just going to say that uh, my definition of promotion and communication differs from uh, the promoter of that show, um, what he thinks is promotion and uh, communication. So uh, I informed him Friday night that I was not going to be attending um, uh, a benefit show, the object is to make money, man. You want to have as many people as possible in the seats to make money. I just saw a guy posting on Facebook today. It was a great day today. They said they made a lot of money uh, for the uh, Moffitt Cancer Center from the tickets sold to the event. There were no tickets sold to the event. It was free to attend. So you have to wonder how was money going to be raised for the benefit show. There was no tickets sold. So that guy, I just saw it on Facebook a few minutes ago. I'm not going to comment on it. I'm not even going to be involved anymore. But there were no tickets sold, so I don't know how they did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Godspeed. It's, it's uh, you know, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't be a part of it. I talked to uh, to Buck last night, uh, the American Giant, and um, you know about it. And uh, he went, he went today. He had a match today, but uh, I just, I can't, I can't waste my time on something like that. You know, I like to. I donate a lot of time to charities. I don't mind it at all. Not one bit. Love doing it. But I want it to actually benefit the charity. I want the promotion. I know how promotions are supposed to go. I'm a pretty smart guy. You know, I know how promotions are supposed to go. I know what's right and what's wrong. And I know how to put asses in the seats. And uh, if, if if you're not working to do that, I, I just I can't be a part of it. So. Um, I decided not to uh, attend. I notified him on Friday night and uh, put up my thing. So hopefully everybody saw it. And I hope they had a great day. I hope they made a lot of money. Um, I just didn't see it happening as they were doing it. So the way they were going about things. So that's all. I won't. Um, I won't get involved in any other shows with those uh, promoters. Oh, that's cool, Godspeed. That's cool. That's very nice. Yeah, we just, uh, Bonnie and I just made a donation to um, 
a um a um an event going on this coming friday night down in miami uh rick sykes a good friend of mine is hosting it and uh, it's for uh dogs adopting dogs uh rough ch charity i can't remember the name of it rough something um down in miami so uh me and bonnie made some donations uh she sent some art i sent some signed books down rick's gonna package it with his book and uh, they're gonna add it to the raffle for the uh benefit of that i love taking part in charity stuff man i love donating my time i love donating my stuff as long as it's productive you know i don't want to waste my time i don't want to waste anybody else's time so um that's why i decided not to go and um uh, and uh, the post i just saw you know all the money they raised today from from the tickets that were sold for the show that just tells me i made the right decision because they weren't selling tickets for the show so all right so we'll take a look at the calendar right now we have ECW today is the new show that's going to make its debut. And I want to show you, I, I got everything pretty much evened out here. The uh, WCW now has 40 guys. ECW has 40. WWF has 43. New Japan has 37. So everything is pretty even now. And we should see a pretty good rotation which just means that uh, a lot of the rivalries got screwed up, but I, I'm not worried about that. So ECW has 40 guys, and they only have two titles. They have the World Championship, which will be determined tonight, and the Television Championship, which will also be determined tonight. They do, they do not have tag teams um, in there. New Japan, 37 people. They also have only one championship, because I had to make it. They had no man. First of all, let me tell you about New Japan. It took me hours to create this show, hours, because you can't that Japan Hall that we talked about the other day. You can't use it because it's part of the um, my rise. So you cannot use it in play now. Well, you can use it in play now, but you can't use it in universe. It is not an option. I did everything that I've given lessons on creating the shows. Nothing worked. It was not an option. So I had to create my own NJPW arena, which came out pretty badass. We'll see it in a couple of days. And there was no title for them. So I created this one. It's uh, kind of basic, but um, it's I named it the Global Heavyweight Championship. That's the only title they're going to have right now. I will add one later on down the road. But, I mean, hours it took me for this show. And creating the belt, I really had no idea what to do. They don't really have anything uh, representative of Japan. So we're going to go with the one championship for now in New Japan. I'll add a second one down the road. But again, there, there will be no tag teams in that. We have the uh, WOW that has 49 women in it and three championships. And those are the World Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, and the United States Championship. I made all of those belts, and they're all pretty cool. Um no tag teams again. No tag teams. I'm trying to stay away from them. I'm sticking with tag teams for WCW and WWF, and that's it. Because the, the tag team matches, I know they make the stream last longer, but they just take way too long, and, and they get boring. So I'm, I'm not going to have tag teams in the new organizations. And the Saturday Night's Main Event is still part of World Wrestling Federation, so WWF is the only one with two shows. And um, that's going to cause problems for the Elimination Chamber and the Halloween Havoc coming up. And up but we'll, we'll get through that. That's not a problem. You know, we'll have good matches for that. So um, that's all good. So the rosters are evened out pretty, pretty nicely. Um, some guys are not where they should be. But uh, we're, we're going to get to see a lot more guys. So we'll take a look at tonight's card, which is brought to you by the WWE Shop. Use the link in the description below to get to the WWE shop. They have specials every single day on their website, so make sure you use the link in the description below to get your favorite WWE apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia at the WWE shop. All right, tonight's action. And I did not choose these matches. I fixed a couple, but I did not choose them. So uh, we were going to decide the championships for ECW tonight. I had... Uh, Rob Van Dam in mind for one of the title matches. It didn't work out that way. That's okay. He can challenge for the title anytime he wants. He's going to go up against Rikishi to start things off tonight. Logan Paul will take on Dino Bravo. 
Doink the Clown will battle Rick the Model Martell. The Boogeyman squares off against Cactus Jack. Bob Roop, he'll take on Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here is the ECW Television Championship. X-Pac, I figured Godspeed would like this match. He will battle Ox Baker for the ECW Television Championship. Jeff Hardy will take on the American Superstar. And in the main event, Triple H battles Justin Michaels for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. I got a feeling Justin's about to get his ass whooped in a really bad way. Hey, Jay, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, so that's your action for tonight. Let's start the show, and then we will start the action. Let me just remind you, my uh, merchandise shop is open. All kinds of uh, merchandise for my book covers and tons of Tolland Twisters merchandise. Uh, of course, the Tolland Twisters, the baseball team in my novel, uh, Twister Town. For the next six days on my merchandise shop, 25% off all orders. All right, let's see. So I did not go today. We already talked about that. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I don't want any backlash on my opinions on that. Tomorrow's live stream will be 1 o'clock. It'll the be World Wrestling over, Federation. Madison Square Garden tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Devils have their final game of the season tomorrow, and then we will be 6.30 from that point on. We are in Cleveland, Ohio. There is your ECW arena. hope you guys like it. We are in Cleveland. I did not see highlights of SmackDown, Godspeed. I have not, I have not seen any highlights of any wrestling at all. Uh, even though I didn't go to the show uh, today, I was still I've still been extremely busy over the last couple of days. Um, let's see. Yes, we are in Cleveland at the Rocket Mortgage Center, and I hope you guys like this arena. Again, the ECW ring that's uh, the arena in the uh, game. I couldn't uh, couldn't use it. Half of the good stuff in the game is not available in universe mode. And that really pisses me off, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, first match of the evening. We got Rob Van Dam, ECW legend, squaring off against Rikishi. Godspeed says Rob Van Dam is going to get the victory. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm going to go with Rikishi. I'm going to pick Rikishi to get the win here in the inaugural W. Nope, ECW. Bout here at the Rocket Morgan Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, here comes the awe-inspiring, high-flying Hall of Famer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Like I said, tomorrow is the Devils' final game of the season. So, live stream will be at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And that will be the final one. After that, we go back to 6.30 start time every night. So in the ECW, the WOW, and New Japan Wrestling, all their titles will be determined in title matches that will all be held on their weekly television shows. There won't be any pay-per-views for those organizations. Oh, thank you for asking, guys. We, she's actually doing pretty good. She's had uh, two or three good days in a row. Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No, no. Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. She sounds good. She's uh, she's very alert and everything that's going on. So yeah, she's had two or three good days in a row now. Yeah, it's uh. 
when she has good days, it's a uh, it's, it's a lot off of Bonnie's mind where she, less, one less thing she has to worry about, you know, every day on a daily basis. All right, ECW underway. Rikishi and Rob Van Dam and RVD not off to a pretty good not off to a good start there. Trying to see. I'm hoping that the um, the changes to the universe here. It's gonna open up the rosters a little bit, where all of the everybody has about the same amount. Everybody has about 40 guys in the roster, and we're gonna see a better rotation. Look at this! Wow, Rikishi just got a three count on Rob Van Dam. RVD had a hand on the rope in the first ECW match. Is controversial. Here is your winner, Rikishi. What an emphatic victory! Guys. Wow. That's why they call it light work, Cole. RVD had his hand on the rope. The referee didn't see it or didn't care, and Rikishi gets the three count on RVD to start off. The ECW's history. Yep, half a star, I would say. That's accurate. Disappointing start. To Extreme Championship Wrestling, wow. RVD is poised to be a big star here. Not a good start. For him at all. Or for the organization. That is just a bad look for the whole company. Rikishi went for a cover, Godspeed, and uh, RVD had his hand on the rope, on the lower rope, but the referee didn't see it or didn't care and counted him out. Counted a three count anyway. Terrible ending there. All right, second match of the evening. We got Logan Paul going up against Dino Bravo. I think Dino Bravo is going to smack the shit out of Logan Paul. We shall find out in a moment. Let me know who you guys think is going to get the victory. Godspeed is going to go with Logan Paul. But as I was saying, I think uh, I'm hoping that the uh, these changes in the universe are going to make it a little better. We're going to see a lot more guys because the, uh, the college football games are not coming out till July 19th. So we still got three more months. Yes, the social media phenomenon has arrived. And this is supposed to hold us until oh that point. For one fall. I'm hoping so, Making anyway. His way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. You know, we know Logan Paul is taking on some of the top names in boxing and WWE, and he may be big. Internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little <laughs> respect on Logan Paul's name. I, I have a question for you guys. How many folks can say they made their WWE debut across the ring from Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania? You're right, Corey. Uh, Logan Paul accomplished something that few ever have. And what Rey a sudden Mysterio shift in direction and a fast over. victory for Rikishi over RVD. RVD in a post-match interview said, My hand was on the rope, but I get counted out. Rikishi, this isn't over. <laughs> Let's go, cool, Godspeed. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 271 pounds, Dino Bravo. Dino Bravo. Yeah, July 19th is supposed to be the release date for College Football 25. I'll be doing a Midnight Madness stream there when it comes out. And we'll do a first look and walk through the, the entire game, check out the stadiums, the teams, the uniforms, all that stuff. I'm going to do a Miami Hurricanes Dynasty, but I won't start that till like the second stream. We'll, that first midnight stream will go through the entire game, but 
But that's not for three more months. So I don't know if I want to do the universe for three more months to that point or not. He is ready for battle. I know when I do a Grand Theft Auto stream, no one ever tunes in, so I'm not going to live stream Grand Theft Auto anymore. But I get I get good views with the the baseball. The wrestling gives me the best views of all. That gives me the best traction. I don't know people they love the. Superstar has been grinding his teeth at the performance the wrestling. Of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're Yeah, that's about. coming, Godspeed. The gameplay the should be in the trailer. And that dedication is what puts him in position. And that's to gonna be uh, a and month from now, May 16th. So like four weeks. Also ready for May 16th, I believe it is. So that's gonna be the full reveal trailer, and I'm hoping that they're not gonna do just a trailer. I hope they're gonna do they say full review, so I hope that means they're going to put out several videos of different stuff. I'll post every one of them. I'm hoping that's what that means. But three months, that's, you know, that's a long time. And I'm hoping that these changes will make the universe be good. I can't, I can't stream Grand Theft Auto anymore. I get okay with the baseball, but the wrestling gets me the best traction. And I think now with all the different organizations, we should be okay. We'll see a lot more of the roster. I can't believe I'm even asking this, but Corey, what would you consider the ideal strategy to take on Logan Paul in this matchup? It sucks, man. <laughs> I'm waiting for that football game, as is everybody else. I'm not the only one. Logan Paul with a dropkick. Nailed Dino right in the chest. He didn't even move. That DDT got to him, though. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Logan Paul with the headlock. Nice headlock applied. Look hey, buddy. Oh, cool. Thanks for joining. Uh, he could be for a here. Now Logan Paul has the knee in the small of the back. Dino slips out the back door. I think you guys are going to really like the uh, the New Japan Arena, too. I, re I tried to emulate that uh, Japan Hall in the My Rise Arena the best I could. I made it a small warehouse setting like that. But that just sucked that I couldn't use it, but I, I, I put together a pretty nice arena. I think you guys are going to like it. We'll see that in a couple of days. Yeah. But I had to create this one, too, for the ECW. All the good arenas. Anything that's in my eyes, you can't use in universe, which is ridiculous. Logan Paul with the power slam. He's gonna go for the cover on Dino Bravo. Wow, Bravo grabbed the rope. That was a bold move. Referee stopped counting this time. Ask RVD. That's not always a guarantee. Uppercut forearm by Logan Paul. Bravo stunned up against the ropes. Bravo looks like his knee is injured. Logan Paul went for a Superman punch. He missed. That was a mistake. And Bravo with a solid scoop slam. He's going to go for the pin. One count only. Bravo stomping the daylights out of Logan Paul. Flips him over. Inverted slam. Dino Bravo. Overpowering Logan Paul right now. Here it comes. End of days. Logan Paul busted open. Blood pouring down the right side of his face. And Dino Bravo gets the win. End of Logan is what we're going to call that finishing move here today. Dino Bravo with the three count. Here's your winner. Dino Bravo. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, thanks, Bunny. That's <laughs> funny. I just 
had a coughing attack right before I went on. I kind of did too. But I think I'm pretty much 100%, 99% over that COVID shit. Two and a half stars is your match rating officially. Dino Bravo with the victory over Logan Ball. It was a good match. Godspeed, it was indeed. All right, so we are going to crown the ECW World Heavyweight Champion tonight and the ECW Television Champion. Those are coming up. But first, we got Dwight the Clown, who joined ECW, along with Rick the Model Martell. They were a couple of the first guys the ECW went after. I'm going to go with Doink to get the victory here. Let me know who you guys think is going to get the win. The end of days in the land of extreme for Paul Logan. Victory for Dino Bravo. All right, let's send this one down. We are in Cleveland, Ohio. At the Rocket Mortgage Center, ECW Wrestling, making its the debut here on the universe. <laughs> Bunny hates, Bunny hates, hates Doink. <laughs> is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 243 pounds, Doink the Godspeed says Doink's going to get the win. I say Doink's going to get the win. Godspeed's going home on Monday. That's cool. Yeah, that's a long trip, man. Very long trip. I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? If it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. Should be a good match. Rick the Model Martell. So a lot of the uh, rivalries and stuff have been screwed up since I split the roster down even further. But we'll get new rivalries out of it. It'll be cool. Yeah, it is Godspeed. It really is. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 264 pounds, Rick Mark L. Rick the Model Martell. He's got his eyes on the ECW Championship. But also, quote, a masterpiece. It won't be long before he's going after the gold. The WWE Universe seems to agree with that prediction. I, for one, can't think of an even more... Yeah, COVID's still so bad down here. Are they aware that the match hasn't And a lot of people are saying they're getting rid of it, and then it's coming back. God, I hope... I hope that isn't the case. <laughs> I'll bet you do, Godspeed. God, I couldn't even imagine. Man, if I left, if I went somewhere for five weeks, I'd have to take my PlayStation. There would be no question <laughs> about that. I would definitely have to take it with me. As it is when we when we leave for like four days, that's hard. Five weeks. Long time. It may not even remember you. You probably have to log in again. We're underway. Rick Martell and Doink the Clown here at the Rocket Mortgage Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Initial show, inaugural show for the ECW. Speaking of inaugural, I'm sure you've seen it by now. The Arizona Coyotes are going to be no more after Wednesday. Moving to Salt Lake City, Utah. The deal with the NHL says the Phoenix Coyotes name and logo stays in Phoenix. Kind of like the Hartford Whalers. And the team will move to Salt Lake City and get a new name, new logo, new mascot. Nice sunset flip by Rick Martell. The uh, uh, Coyotes uh, farm team, the uh, Tucson Roadrunners, are going to move to Phoenix. They're going to play their home games in Phoenix. The owner of the Phoenix Coyotes still going to try to get the arena built. Still going to bid on the land this week. And the NHL has promised him if he gets the 
uh, land in the arena built within five years, they will give him an expansion team. And that expansion team will be named the Arizona Coyotes because he's going to keep the rights to the uh, name and logo and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with for uh, name and logo in Salt Lake City. So the Phoenix, the Arizona Coyotes will be the Winnipeg Jets slash Arizona Coyotes slash Salt Lake City, whatever. That franchise has moved quite a bit. Rick Martell with a boot rake on the face of Doink. Nice reversal by Doink. And he slams Doink into the commentator's table. And then look at Rick Martell slamming Doink's face into the concrete. Leg drop to the elbow. Rick Martell not looking to make any friends here. He is pulverizing the clown. Spy Buster Rick the Model Martell. He's going to go for the cover. He just may have him. He does not. Doink kicks out at two. Martell looking for the Boston Crab. Doink's right there on the rope, though. Yep. Martell barely had the hold on at all. Rick's taking a lap around the ring on the apron. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. I don't think he knows what he's going to do next. That was the wrong decision. Doink with the fireman's carry now. Into an airplane spin. Doink's going to go for the cover. He's got the leg hooked. And Martell kicks out at the count of two and a half. Doink trying to give the ECW referee lessons on how to get to three a little bit faster. Scoop slam by Doink. That had some power behind it. Went for the boot and Rick Martell made the catch. And the block slamming his cranium into the mat. And Martell is all fired up now. Cranium Buster times three right into the mat. Rick Martell, solid right hand to the side of Doink's face. Martell goes for the cover. And the clown kicks out at two and a half. Martell can't believe it. He's going to head up to the top rope. Diving knee right to the small of the back. That'll crack a vertebrae. Quick elbows by the model. And a boot rake to the face. He should go for the cover. He's going to give a diving, jumping knee to the forehead first. And he's going to go for the Boston Crab once again. He does. And this time he's right smack in the middle of the ring. The clown is down. He's got nowhere to go. Martell's got it cinched in pretty good. Referee's right there, and the clown taps out. Joint quits. Rick Martell gets the win. Here is your winner, Rick Martell. Rick the model Martell. Godsweet's calling it an upset. He gets Doink the Clown to quit by way of the Boston Crab. And look at the fans here in Cleveland. Not liking Rick Martell at all. <laughs> They're all giving him the thumbs down. Martell's talking shit to a couple people in the front row. It was a good match. There's a few people here in Cleveland cheering for Rick. Two and a half stars is your official match rating. Rick the Model Martell. Gets Doink the Clown to tap. And he gets the victory, his first, here in Extreme Championship Wrestling. All right, coming up, we have the fourth match of the evening. It is a couple of crazy characters. The Boogeyman taking on Cactus Jack. Both of them making, obviously, their ECW debuts here tonight. I'm going to go with uh, Cactus Jack going to be my pick for victory. What do you guys think? Who do you think 
is going to get the victory here tonight in Cleveland. Godspeed says Boogeyman's going to get the win. Let's send it down to ringside and get your introductions. The model walks the runway to victory over Doink the Clown, but the funhouse is not easily broken. That's a good one, Jay. You do that normally, Byron. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the bottomless pit. Weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman. Saxton, my sources tell me that after the match tonight, Boogeyman's going right back under your bed. Oh, no, he's not. I'm locking my door. This match has a certain level of crazy in the ring. The Boogeyman and Cactus Jack. Very intriguing matchup. stores you go to absolutely not well here comes a hardcore wrestling icon who is indeed ready for a brawl and his opponent from truth or consequences new mexico weighing in at 287 pounds cactus jack Hey, about the history of Cactus Jacks, whose origins date back to both ECW and WCW, where he won tag team titles in both organizations. I think you meant origins, Saxton, but I understand everyone's a little on edge when Cactus Jack's around. How'd you know? What I want to know is who would team with a man this dangerous? And when you're dealing with Cactus Jack... Somebody who's more smart. More like Better to have him on your team than on the other side of the ring. Cactus Jack squaring off here at the Rocket Mortgage Center in Cleveland against the Boogeyman on the ECW's inaugural show. Pretty solid matchup. Here comes the Boogeyman, and Corey's coming to get you. And we're going to start things off with a solid spine buster from Cactus Jack. He goes for a cover, but he knew he wasn't going to get a pinfall there. We'll be out of here sooner than expected. Just for show there. Left by the turnbuckles. Solely focused on... Oh! Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And Sidewalk slam by Cactus Jack. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Jack's off the rope. Diving elbow right across the chest. Once again, Cactus Jack off the rope, diving elbow into the chest one more time. And he's going to go for the pinfall. Two count. The Boogeyman kicked out. So far, Jack, the only one offering any offense here. Well, that comes to an end. Here comes the Boogeyman with his first offense of the evening. Dropping Cactus Jack throat first in the top rope. Boogeyman's heading up to the top rope. Cactus Jack may have something to say about that. There's a shot to the jaw. Boogeyman still up there. Double axe sandal to the top of Cactus's head. There's a headbutt. I never really was either, Godspeed. Never really followed him. I never, uh, you know, they were like the third or fourth one on the rung, maybe fifth. And I just, I, I never really followed him. Yeah, trying to get some diversity here in the universe. 
And Cactus Jack may be out. Boogie Man brings him to his feet. Back elbow to the face. Cactus is in a little bit of trouble now. Boogie Man knocks him down. Hooks the leg. And Cactus kicks out at the count of two. Boots in the midsection. Nice reversal there by Cactus Jack. The good thing is that it's still, still uh, the, the same guys on the roster. So uh, while well, it's in an ECW ring and arena, it's not like it's an all ECW roster. You know, so we still got WWE guys, WWF guys. Kind of overflow from the other two. Cactus Jack with a backbreaker. It's kind of like the old days now. The universe is set up like the old days in the territory days where there are lots of organizations for guys to work in. You could have a good rotation in and out of your territories. Cactus has him up. Wow, serious. Devastating pile driver by Cactus Jack, and he's going to go for the cover, and he may have the win. No, he does not. Somehow, the boogeyman got loose and got a shoulder up. That was a devastating pile driver from Cactus Jack. And he's going to toss the boogeyman hard into the corner. Oh, that was a shot to the nuts. We saw it, Cactus. That was a low blow. And there's a knee right to the face. Running knee to the face. Boogie Man is stunned. I don't think he knows where he is right now. And there's a blow to the forehead from Cactus Jack. He's looking to put the Boogie Man away here, slamming his head into that top turnbuckle. Double axe handle to the neck. Forearm to the kidney. Cactus Jack is in control right now. He's got the boot under the throat. Top rope for leverage, choking the boogeyman out. Cactus goes for the cover. And again, he gets a two count. The boogeyman, I don't know how he keeps kicking out. Shoulder tackle by the boogeyman. That was a big elbow drop to the face. Now the boogeyman in control. Boogie bomb, Cactus Jack. Wow, kicked out. Got a shoulder up. Just in the nick of time. Big right hand by the Boogeyman. Oh, inverted slam. Plenty of power behind it. And now the Boogeyman is in control. Good back and forth action here. He's going for it again. Another Boogie bomb. He's going to hold him for the cover. Wow. Cactus Jack kicks out again. Boogie can't believe it. Two boogie bombs delivered to perfection. And Cactus Jack still kicking out. Solid elbow to the middle of the face. Cactus Jack with a nice body shot and a reversal chop to the top of the head. Cactus has him up. Another pile driver delivered. Second one he's given. And that might be the final nail in the coffin. No, Boogeyman. This man will not go down. Cactus Jack frustrated, taking his frustrations out, yelling at the ref. It's not his fault. Diving knee. Jumping knee to the face by Cactus Jack. Both men taking everything the other has to offer. Jack off the rope. Diving elbow across the chest. Cactus Jag hops up to the top rope. Superfly! Got him. That ought to do it. But Jack's not done. Bringing him in, looking for another pile driver. Got him. That's it. Boogeyman doesn't know where he is or who he is. Cactus Jack rides the third pile driver to a three count and a victory. That was a good match.
Very solid match. A brutalizing showing here from the maniacal Cactus Jack. And that means it was a wonderful night by his standards. It was, guys, three, that was. Definitely a good match. Best one we've seen so far tonight. Cactus Jack, four and a half stars is your official match rating. Cactus Jack with the three count over the boogeyman. The third pile driver was too much. And the boogeyman was sent into Never Never Land. That brings us to the intermission portion of the evening. We'll take a look at how we got here. First match of the show was terrible. Rikishi got a win over Rob Van Dam. That was like two minutes in. Van Dam grabbed the rope on a Rikishi pinfall attempt. Referee didn't see it or didn't care. Either way, he counted to three, and Rikishi got a cheap victory. Rob Van Dam has sworn revenge. Dino Bravo got a good victory over Logan Paul. Rick the Model Martel downed Doink the Clown, made him tap with the Boston Crab. Cactus Jack, as you just saw, fantastic match. Got the win over the Boogeyman. Coming up in the second half of action, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's going to go up against Bob Roop. X-Pac and Ox Baker will battle for the vacant ECW Television Championship. The American Superstar battles Jeff Hardy and tonight's main event, Triple H. And Justin Michaels go at it for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. That probably is going to be a one-sided match. Tonight's second half of action is brought to you by Fanatics. Use the link in the description below to get to Fanatics.com. They have officially licensed everything. They have specials every single day on their website. So make sure you use the link in the description below to get there to take advantage of those. Get all of your favorite NHL, NFL, NCAA, and Major League Baseball apparel, merchandise, and memorabilia at Fanatics.com by using the link in the description down below. From the world of nightmares to defeat in the land of extreme by the hardcore icon Cactus Jack. Welcome to a real nightmare. <laughs> Boogeyman, bang, bang. All right, Stone Cold Steve Austin starts off the second half of action, taking on Bob Roop. Godspeed says Stone Cold is going to get the victory. I have to agree. I have to agree. So let me know who you think is going to get the victory. Stone Cold favored coming in. No question that. It'll only be a matter of time before he goes after the ECW championship, one of them. Let's send it down to ringside here. We are in Cleveland, Ohio at the Rocket, Mo Rocket Mortgage Center. And here comes the, toughest the Texas Rattlesnake. History. I got a premonition. We're about to see some mud holes stomped and walk dry before our very eyes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So many amazing Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Cold Texas Rattlesnake, Rattlesnake Stone Cold Stone going up against Bob oh Roop yes. here oh God, tonight. On ECW. I thought you didn't drink, Byron. Sellout crowd here in Cleveland. Anticipating this one. This is a very intriguing match on paper. We'll see how that translates to inside the squared circle. The WWE Universe just exploded. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 291 pounds, Bob Roop. Here's a 
superstar just dripping with unearned pride. Oh yes, how dare a superstar take pride unearned in pride. And success <laughs> here in WWE. Come on, Saxton. Look, there's having pride in your work, but this superstar is just overbearing. I think they're just the right amount of bearing, actually. <laughs> Bob Roop and Stone Cold Steve Austin, two different eras, two different wrestling styles. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. Bob, of course. Well known heel and Mr. Austin. Well, he's a fan favorite no matter where he goes. They could have done better on him, too. Big overhand right by Austin. And he is stomping away on Bob Roop. Austin got a small opening to start the match, and he is quickly taking advantage. Big arm drag there by Bob Roop. Stomping on the face of Stone Cold. Kick to the chest. Went for the fist drop. Austin rolled out of the way. Big right hand to the face by Stone Cold. Inverted atomic drop, and that's got Roop reeling. Several right hands to the face. Stone Cold pounding away on Bob Roop. Several jabs and a clothesline. Roop is down. Austin continuing the assault. Several powerful right hands to the side of the head. He's going for the cover. Not a bad idea. He's knocked Roop into next week. But Bob kicked out at one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Big right hand. Group is down once again. Austin slamming his head down into the canvas. Double axe handle to the back, and Roop got out of that one. Nice reversal. Uh oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Vertical suplex by Mr. Roop. Uh oh. And he drops the knee right across Stone Cold's elbow. Bob Roop, back breaker of the powerful sort. And is Roop going to go for a cover? He is. One count only. Austin kicked out hard. He's not even close to being done. Roop has him up over the shoulder, brings him to the corner. Snake eyes right on the top turnbuckle. He is. Roof's going to step Take through. What this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The Surfboard. This won't end well. Face plant. Face first. Stone Cold's face crashing hard into the mat. Roof helps him to his feet. Solid right hand. And he was going to go for a suplex. Austin got a couple of back elbows up. Russian leg sweep by Stone Cold. He's turned things back his way. Roof to the midsection. There's the stunner. He nailed it. Stone Cold Stunner Bob Roof has no idea where he is right now. Took a long time before Austin went for the cover. And it cost him. Roof got a shoulder up. Austin can't believe it, but he took a long time dragging him all over the place. That dragging system in his game is really stupid. And it cost Austin a pinfall right there. The Irish whips Roop hard into the corner, follows him in. There's a knee, couple of knees to the ribs. And look at that, Austin biting him on the back of the head. Stone Cold boot, and another Stone Cold stunner. That's all, Roop isn't getting up from that. Nobody is. Stone Cold Steve Austin rides two stunners to victory over Bob Roop.
Impressive victory from bell to bell. Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was a good match indeed. Bob Roop hung tough. He didn't do badly. But you can't take two Stone Cold Stunners and expect to remain conscious, let alone get a victory. So much to the delight of the crowd here in Cleveland, the sellout crowd, Stone Cold Steve Austin gets the pinfall on Bob Roop. Three stars is your official match rating. Stone Cold Steve Austin with the win. All right, I think we got the title match next. Yeah, that's who you said that before, Godspeed. I'll bet. <laughs> I think it is time. It is time for our first title match of the evening. It is for the vacant ECW Television Championship. It is X Pac against Ox Baker. X Pac. Gave up his feud with Goldberg in the WCW to come over to the ECW to battle for their gold. Godspeed says X-Pac is going to get the win. Jay says the toughest SOB puts ECW on notice, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> that was good. Godspeed says x is going to get the win. I'm going to go with Ox Baker on this one. It is for the ECW World Television Championship, Ox Baker, and X-Pac. The title is vacant. The winner gets the belt here. I'm going to go with the heart puncher, Ox Baker. Let me know who you think is going to get the victory. We got a pick em coming in. Let's send it down to ringside here in Cleveland and crown our first ECW champion. He's a two-time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the ECW World Television Championship. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pac. Think about what X Pac brings to the equation: lightning fast martial arts strikes, incredible high flying attacks. X Pac can do it all. First superstar to be a member of both the NWO and Degeneration X. You are looking at a superstar who was once told he couldn't cut the mustard in WCW, but has since proven that to be terribly wrong. <laughs> we shall see, Godspeed. We shall wins. see. This is going to be good. And his opponent from Parks Unknown. Weighing in at 327 pounds, Oxley Baker. Ox Baker taking on X Pac. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there's no for the vacant ECW Television Championship. That he's considered by many to be among the most treacherous superstars on the roster today. That's not necessarily something to be proud of, Michael. Though I'm willing to bet he thinks it is. I agree with you 100%, Jay. It's absolutely stupid and ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's cool, guys. We looking at the champion. I guarantee. Yes, I agree, Jake. It is absolutely stupid, ridiculous, dumb. There's no reason for it. You know that we're gonna live stream the game. What's the point? It's absolutely ridiculous. They know the game's coming out. They know that we're going to live stream it. Why not just let the music play? We're not making money off of the music. It should be allowed. It's, it's absolutely 
ridiculous. Baker goes for the quick cover. Xbox kicks out. It's been a problem for many years, Jay, many years. But I agree with you 100%. It's stupid. Maybe it'll change now that Vince is out of the picture. <laughs> there you go, Godspeed. <laughs> Ox Baker's got that leg lock submission hold in. Lots of pressure on the knee. Xbox got a boot to the face. Broke the hold. Overhand chop there by Xbox. World Television Championship on the line here. It is vacant. Whoever comes out victorious will have the gold. Xbox using his boot to choke out Ox Baker there. Xbox lightning speed, next level stamina, and smooth martial arts offense helps to back up all the trash talk. Quick elbow to, to the chest. Game. Xbox heading up to the top rope. Oh, gonna oh, what a swan dive splash. Ox Baker said, here's one for you. Up and over for the DDT. Baker is going to go for the cover. Xbox kick kicks inside. out at two. Baker rolled out of the way. Got a forearm smash to the and face. Feeling it right now, as well he should. He's got the leg hooked. Small package suplex. Crashing down in the neck. Xbox in trouble here. Ox Baker to the top rope. Xbox trying to get to his feet. Baker double axe handle right to the top of the head. Stomping on the face of Xbox. Baker. Oh, was trying to help him up, and Xbox grabbed the legs and knocked him down. Nice move there by Xbox. Solid right hand to the head. He's got a cross face. Xbox got the cross face locked in right in the middle of the ring. Ox Baker never saw it coming, took him by surprise. He slipped out between the legs and escaped the hold. Xbox. Had it on for a little while though. Over the top rope. Nice back body drop there. Reversal by Xbox and Ox Baker went hard onto the concrete here in Cleveland. Slides back into the ring. Xbox tosses him back into the ring. And now Xbox to the top rope. Title on the line. Diving elbow to the small of the back. Ox Baker having a hard time catching his breath right now. Xbox. That might do it. Xbox might grab the gold. The referee takes a lap around the ring before he decides to count, and he gets it. Xbox is the new ECW World Television Champion with a three count on Ox Baker. We have our first Here's television champion. And the new ECW World Television Champion, Xbox. Xbox is a bad a motherfucker, man. Godspeed, Zappy. Xbox is your first ECW television champion. Three stars, your official match rating. He got a three count on Ox Baker. Wow, that was a good match. I didn't think there was any possible way Xbox could beat Ox Baker. Xbox is tough, man. He is very tough in this game. It was, that was indeed a good match. And Xbox left WCW with a promise of a shot at the gold, and he made the best of it. He is now the ECW television champion. All right, next up, we got the American Superstar taking on Jeff Hardy. I believe this will be the first time that we ever see Jeff Hardy. I don't think we've ever seen him on the universe here, but I'm going to go with the American Superstar as my pick for victory. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to get the win? Godspeed says Hardy is going to get the pinfall, so, or the victory anyway, so that makes it a pick em match. We'll send it down to ringside and get your introductions here in Cleveland. I don't know what that chair is doing there. I don't know how that got there. I didn't put it there. I'm going to have to get that out of there. There's the American Superstar. 
with his speed and incredible martial arts skill, X Pac outsmarts and defeats Ox Baker to become the initial ECW television champion. Making his way to the ring, representing the superstars from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 276 pounds, the All American Superstar. The American Superstar. I think the Canadian superstar is over in Japan. I think he's in New New Japan wrestling. There's no tag teams in these ECW and New Japan. I have to uh, I have to break up that tag team. They decided they wanted to go their separate ways and try singles competition for a while. Canadian superstar was gladly accepted in. New Japan Pro Wrestling, so we'll be seeing him over there before long. Tonight we're in Cleveland, Ohio, Rocket Mortgage Center for the inaugural show of the ECW. And we have the American Superstar. Fans showing their support for him. I still can't believe Xbox beat <laughs> Ox Baker. Xbox is a beast in this game. The Daredevil. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! Byron, you can ask any superstar on the roster, it is next to impossible to prepare for the reckless abandon that Jeff Hardy manifests. You're absolutely That's over the not an overstatement. We'll do absolutely anything. Jeff Hardy will take any He's a guy's speed, yeah. Well, he's a beast as here. Long as it ends in a win. The WWE Universe is on its feet for the arrival of the charismatic enigma. So X Pac has won the vacant ECW television championship. We got a match in between here between the American Superstar and Jeff Hardy, and then we will determine who will be the first. ECW World Champion. Triple H and Justin Michaels going after that title. I've got a pretty good idea of how that one's going to come out. You're looking at a well -traveled superstar. There's the bell, and the American Superstar comes out swinging. Springboard clothesline off the second rope. He'll be looking to Nails Hardy, and he's matchup. down. And it's always great to see Jeff Hardy in his element. Hardy's inner demons have been well documented. Toss he suplex there the by the superstar. Focused on the job at hand. Yeah, Jeff doesn't nice reversal by Hardy. Reach to the midsection. He prides himself on being an example of accountability and resurgence. Uh oh. Face Hardy tossing the superstar's head into the turnbuckle. Jeff Hardy Big forearm right to the chin. And the superstar's down. Hardy stomping on the chest. Double boot to the chest. Devastating move there. Hardy's going to go for the pin. The American superstar kicks out at two. He's trying to catch his breath right now, though. That was a devastating, brutal move there by Hardy. He's climbing up to the top rope. Jeff Hardy diving leg drop right across the throat, and it hit its mark. Knife edge chop reversal by the superstar. Being carried around with ease. Yeah. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. To the trachea. The American superstar, he's got Jeff Hardy up. Look at this. Monster power bomb. Hardy slammed his head on the mat on the way down. The American superstar has him up. Is that a backbreaker he was going for? It was. Hardy slipped out the back door. And look at the soup. The superstar turned it around into a nice suplex. 
Great technical wrestling background by the American Superstar. Toss suplex by the American. Stomping on the head. They love him here in Cleveland. Superstar just threw him down to the mat and went for the cover. Only got a one count. That was kind of rude. He just threw him down to the mat hard. Nice reversal there by Hardy. Tough position to be caught in here. Look at the American Superstar tossing Jeff Hardy over the top row bottom onto the concrete. ECW doesn't use mats. Threw him down to the floor as a Rocket Mortgage Center here in Cleveland. That was a hell of a fall, and Jeff Hardy is in a lot of trouble here. What is he going to do? Running power slam on the concrete. That was kind of rude. The American Superstar slamming Jeff Hardy into the steel stairs and he is ripping Hardy apart right now right hand right to the head Hardy is down again superstar is feeling pretty good toss suplex all this action taking place on the concrete floor of the Rocket Morgan Center. Refs count is at seven. Superstar tosses Hardy back in, follows him back inside the squared circle. He may have him prime for a pinfall. Running spear, and that might do it. The American Superstar has the leg hooked, and he gets a victory over Jeff Hardy. Impressive win by the American Superstar. He just dismantled Mr. Hardy. The American Superstar victorious in his ECW debut. That yeah, was indeed a good match. The ECW does not use mats outside the ring, so it's all concrete out there. Same thing with New Japan. They don't believe in it either. So we're going to have some good cards with uh, no mats outside there. That was three stars for your official match rating. The American Superstar took Jeff Hardy outside onto the concrete and just gave him a whipping of his life and got the victory. Yeah, that's right, Godspeed. They don't have any money for the match. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right, next up, the main event of the evening. It is for the vacant ECW World Championship. It is Justin Michaels taking on Triple H. This is what the computer picked. I feel bad for Justin because I got a feeling he's going to get stomped real bad. From American Superstar to American Extreme, the American Superstar defeats Jeff Hardy. Tonight's main event is up next. It is for the ECW World Championship. It is the voice, Justin Michaels, taking on Triple H. I'm sorry, Justin, but I got to go with Triple H on this one. I don't see any other outcome to this bout. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to get the win? It'd be nice if Justin got the win and became the first ECW world champion, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Let's send it down to ringside and get your introductions here in Cleveland. We are going to crown the first ECW world champion. Yeah, now we're talking. The title is vacant. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 228 pounds, the voice, Justin Michaels. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. Fans in Cleveland here. Absolutely not in favor of the voice. Go, get him. 
Justin having some words with some of the fans at ringside. He definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. The ECW World Championship is vacant. Justin can win the title on a count out. The title is vacant. No matter how victory is achieved, someone will have the, the belt here tonight. So, Justin could come out on top, but I would really... If I was a betting man, which I am, I would not put my money on Justin. Especially when Stephanie's at ringside. It's gonna be good. WWE Universe, it's time to play the game. Make no mistake about it. The King of Kings is here. And his opponent, accompanied by Stephanie McMahon from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. As always, Triple H is marching to the ring with purpose. And as always, the purpose remains the same. Plain and simple, domination. Triple H has remained atop the WWE for two decades. They did such a good job with Triple H. They did really well with him, too. Take no prisoners in the boardroom or in the ring. That's the mantra of Triple H. A man who possesses Stephanie the hanging back focus to be the absolute halfway up the ramp just watching hubby life. do his thing and knowing that makes him an extremely difficult opponent to prepare for the game is about to begin ECW World Championship on the line it is vacant as of this moment Intensity on the face of the champion challenger in the corner looking more determined than I've ever seen The voice and the game and here We, we are Superstar underway and there's Stephanie he has out there ringside keep an eye on her Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. She can play a part in any match at any time and Remember the title is vacant Justin doesn't need to get a pinfall. He can get a count out and become the world champion. Look at him. Wow, double knee to the chin. And the voice is off to a pretty good start. He's going to need to stay on top of the game if he's going to have a shot at victory here tonight. ECW crowning their inaugural world champion here. Look at Justin. Look at the knees to the face. What a powerful boot to the chest. And Triple H is out on the concrete. Justin follows him out there. That might have been a mistake. It was. Inverted atomic drop by the game. And he throws Justin into the steel barricade there ringside. Oh, he bitch slapped him. After a couple of powerful shots, he bitch slapped him just to get his point across. Stephanie's keeping an eye on him. Keep an eye on her. Taking this outside. This could be good. Justin was playing possum. Look at Michaels. Knee to the face once again. Triple H is down. Justin helps him back to his feet. Stephanie backed away as Justin was backing up toward her. Knee to the midsection reversal there by the game. Look at Justin coming back. Knee to the face again. Triple H is taking a lot of those. Close line by the voice. Oh, look at the springboard Superman punch off the second rope. The voice 
is doing much better than everybody gave him credit for. And he knows it. And he's looking for some admiration from the crowd. He's not going to get it here. He went for the boot to the chest. And Triple H stopped it. Triple H choking him out. Now ECW referees here. They were trained by the WCW referees. They don't enforce anything. Inverted atomic drop once again. Michaels is in trouble. Wow, face buster to the knee. And the voice is in trouble. Triple H dropping a knee on the elbow. World Championship on the line. Justin Michaels went for the Superman punch. He missed. Rolling elbows. Look at the voice. Body blow. Big forearm to the face. He's got Triple H reeling. Knee to the ribs. The game is down. The voice is going to go for the pinfall. Only a one count. Triple H kicked out. Spear! The voice caught him with a spear. The game never saw it coming. Michaels with a cover. Wow, two and a half. Stephanie's beside herself outside the ring. Justin's beside himself. He thought he had him. He's not happy. Justin Michaels up on the second rope. You're embarrassing yourself, Justin. I don't know what that was. Hurt his knee, but... Triple H is in so much trouble that Michaels had plenty of time to recover in the voice. Is continuing his assault on the game. Tossing Triple H one more time out onto the concrete. Michaels went for the roundhouse. Triple H ducked. Solid right hand to the face. Triple H with a DDT on the concrete. Solid left hand and he slams the voice's head into the concrete floor one more time. The game went for some punches and a voice turned him over and threw some of his own. Ref's count is at five right now. Justin's back in and so is the game at the count of seven. The voice was waiting for him. Couple of knees to the ribs. Nice reversal by the game. Man's loving him here in Cleveland. Justin gets up firing. Oh, kick to the knee. That has Triple H stunned. Overhand chop, right hand, spinning left. Triple H. Slammed into the turnbuckle. He's got all he can do to handle the voice right now. And again, Triple H's head slammed into the turnbuckle. That one busted him open. The voice, several knees to the ribs. He is performing much better than anybody anticipated coming into the bout. The voice is going to go for a cover now, but no. Triple H had a boot under the rope, and Justin's feeling pretty good. Pretty confident about where he is in the match right now. It's not over yet, though. He went for a spear, and the game rolled out of the way. Now he's throwing some knees. He's got Justin by the throat. That was. Triple H dropping a knee on the elbow of the voice. Triple H goes for the cover. One count only. Justin kicked out hard. The game boot to the midsection. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Pedigree. Justin doesn't know where he is. That ought to do it. Wow, Justin Michaels kicks out at the count of two after taking the pedigree. Spine buster. The game is bleeding heavily, but he's not done up. Oh, reversal by the voice. Justin heading up to the top rope. This has been a fantastic match. Oh, diving double foot stomp to the ribs. With the heels of those shoes, Justin goes for the cover. Two count. Triple H kicks out. Just in time, the voice lining him up. He's got him in the torture rack. Uh-oh, flips him over, knee to the face. I think that might do it. Justin Michaels may have the world championship locked up. He does. 
Holy shit! The voice Justin Michaels has defeated the game and is your inaugural ECW World Champion. What a fantastic match. Yeah, it was, Gatsby. Justin Michaels with a performance of a lifetime. Now he's going to need to do that every night if he wants to keep the gold. Very impressive win. The voice, Justin Michaels, is your inaugural ECW champion, world champion. By taking out the game, Triple H, four stars is your official match rating. Wow. Justin Michaels rules the ECW. It was a near flawless performance. And he's going to have to do that every single night from this point forth now. If he's going to keep that gold around his waist. Everybody in the ECW locker room is going to be gunning for him. Pretty solid night of action. Here on the first ECW show. The voice has been heard in the land of extreme as ECW World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> nice one, Jay. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's take a look at what went down here tonight. We started things off with an absolute crap match. Rikishi got the three count on Rob Van Dam. Two minutes into the match, Rikishi went for a cover. Rob Van Dam grabbed the lower rope. Referee didn't see it. Counted him down for a three count. Van Dam was very upset. He said, I will be back. Dino Bravo got a victory over Logan Paul. Rick the Model Martel made Doink the Clown tap out by way of the Boston Crab. Cactus Jack had a pretty solid match against the Boogeyman. You too, Jay. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Tomorrow's stream is at 1 o'clock. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very good win over Bob Roop. X-Pac won the ECW Television Championship over Ox Baker. The American Superstar. Decisive win over Jeff Hardy. And as you just saw, the voice Justin Michaels is your inaugural ECW World Champion. He beat the game. Wow. Still, still surprised at that. All right, so what we're going to do is move the calendar over to the next show, World Wrestling Federation Championship Wrestling for Madison Square Garden. That will be tomorrow's stream, 1 o'clock. Tomorrow's stream will be, and it will be the final 1 o'clock stream as hockey season is over after tomorrow night. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow night, tomorrow's match preview is brought to you by Godlike Hosting, premium game hosting, delivering high performance, minimal ping, and improved protection. They specialize in Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto hosting on beautiful servers. They also host for more than 28 other games. Use the link in the description below and get a free trial at Godlike Hosting. All right, let's see what is on tap for tomorrow. World Wrestling Federation action. We have The Rock battling Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. The Honky Tonk Man takes on Big John Studd. Superstar Billy Graham battles Rick Rude. Six-man triple threat tornado tag. Let's see. All right. Well, that will be... Since the uh, tag team things got screwed up, this will be a non-title match. And the winning team aren't the Red Army the WCW tag team champions? Yes, they are. So they don't even need to be in that. So this is going to be a non-title tag team match. It'll be the Wild Samoans against the Soul Patrol. I need to fix the Red Army and get them out of there for now until they lose the titles in WCW. So this will be the Soul Patrol against the Wild Samoans. 
Uh, Andre the Giant and Ricky Steamboat are in a feud, so they will face each other. I'll have to fix that. The Macho Man will be here. He'll take on Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. Magnificent Morocco will score off against the WWF champion King Kong Bundy. Non-title match there. And the main event, Greg the Hammer Valentine taking on Jake the Snake Roberts. That'll be pretty cool. All right, so that's what's on tap tomorrow. One o'clock stream tomorrow. World Wrestling Federation's Championship Wrestling from Madison Square Garden. All right, let's see. Tonight's action has been brought to you by Godlike Hosting, Fanatics.com, and the WWE Shop. Don't forget my merchandise store is open. 25% off for the next six days. Tomorrow's stream, as I said, is at 1 o'clock. And that's it. That's all I got to let you know about. If you saw anything you like, make sure you drop a like down below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel yet. Now's a good time to do that. Once you smash that sub button, hit the bell icon next to it. Turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. I have fresh content every single day on the channel. And I go live five times a week. Thank you, guys, for joining. You have a good night yourself. Thank you, Jay, for joining. Appreciate you. Thank you, Bonnie. She was here for a while. Thank you, Jay, for the headlines. Once again, fantastic job. And thank you to everyone else who stopped in along the way. I do appreciate every single one of you. Have yourself a fantastic evening. I will see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Final 1 o'clock live stream coming tomorrow. Hockey season ends tomorrow night for me anyway. And the Devils. So uh, tomorrow's World Wrestling Federation card. You just saw it. It's a great card. And it'll be even better once I fix it up and get rid of those stupid tag teams. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Have a fantastic evening. Have a good night.